Okay guys, it's time for the third video in my Halloween junk food history series. In previous videos, we looked at the best spooky treats from 2003 and 2004. So naturally in this video, I'm gonna tell you about the top Halloween junk food from 2005, which incidentally was the year Optimus Prime died. As a reminder, all of the photos that are used in this video series were pulled from my ancient blog reviews. So if they look washed out or pixelated, that's why. It's so weird to me that I'm now doing nostalgic videos about stuff that I covered back when it was still brand new. Very, very meta. Anyway, here are 10 of the best Halloween treats from the year 2005. Number one. Hubba Bubba Scary Shapes. These were individually wrapped pieces of Hubba Bubba meant to be given away to trick-or-treaters. The gum tasted like regular Hubba Bubba, but it sure didn't look like it. All of the orange pieces had black centers shaped like some sort of Halloween icon, like skulls or cats. And uh, that one up there on the right is supposed to be a bat but I think it's more specifically a bat signal. That is the gum you chew when you want Batman to come hang out. Number two, High C Frightening Fruit Punch. Oh God, these were so good. I believe High C only sold them in 30 packs. And while I assume they were mostly meant for Halloween parties, I'm enamored with the idea that some folks gave out whole entire juice boxes to trick-or-treaters. This was just Heisey's regular fruit punch flavor dressed up in spooky packaging, but sometimes that's all you need. God, these boxes are just so freaking cool. Um, I've actually held on to one since 2005, and yes, it's still full. Everyone wish my high C frightening fruit punch a happy sweet 16. Number three, York Peppermint Batty. So peppermint batties definitely were not exclusive to 2005. I don't know if York put them out this year, but they have been around pretty recently. These were just normal peppermint patties shaped like bats. But again, to me, this looks more like a bat signal. If you run out of Halloween Hubba Bubba, this is another way to summon Batman. Number four, Mountain Dew Pitch Black 2. All right guys, this is it, the big one. Mountain Dew Pitch Black 2. Uh, the original Pitch Black came out in 2004, as I told you about in my prior video. I don't think any of us were really expecting it to return the following year, but it did more than just return. It got a full-blown sequel. Pitch Black 2 had the same grapey flavor that the original did, but this time they gave it an extra sour bite. Many people actually preferred this version, including me. And just like the original Pitch Black was for 2004, I think Pitch Black 2 was the number one Halloween junk food from 2005. Oh God, I was such a fan of this soda. I even bought its old six foot promotional standee because only an idiot would turn down a life-size cardboard creature from the Black Lagoon who rose from the depths to shill Mountain Dew. Number five, Peep Hollow. Number five, Peep's Halloween Decorating Kit. Now, each kit came with pumpkin-shaped peeps and then a tube of black icing to decorate them with. Now the decorating part was fun for sure. I mean, drawing things on pumpkin shaped peeps, that was a dream come true. 
The problem was that in terms of flavor, the icing did not exactly work on Peeps. They were messy to eat and they didn't really taste that good. I don't know, on the other hand, who goes through the trouble of drawing faces on Peeps just to eat them? I mean, that's why we have IKEA glass display cases. Number six, Reese's Pieces with Nuts. God, that's a really difficult thing to say when you have a lisp. I'm wondering if they still make these because they were fantastic. Uh, they were essentially the Reese's Pieces version of peanut M&Ms. And as much as I love peanut M&Ms, I think I actually prefer these Reese's Pieces with Nuts. Okay, so based on five seconds of research, it looks like they are indeed still being made, but mostly in Canada. And I'm glad I looked this up because now I know that the French word for peanut is arachide. How cool is that word? It sounds like some kind of regal spider. Number seven, Juicy Fruit Monster Sticks. 2005 was like a really good year for Halloween gum. Um, juicy Fruit Monster Sticks, these were thicker than normal Juicy Fruit and about two times taller. I like that they figured out how to turn a candy that nobody associated with Halloween into such a perfect thing for trick-or-treaters. I don't think this was a big success because, as far as I know, Wrigley's, they haven't done much else for Halloween since then. But still, really cool gum. I wish it would come back. Number eight, Halloween Kid Cuisine. So this was definitely not Kid Cuisine's first Halloween meal. And if I'm being honest, it was really more of a regular Kid Cuisine meal in a Halloween box. The cheese pizza painter meal included a special pouch of sauce that let you draw things on little tiny pizzas. Back in 2005, I turned mine into a jack-o'-lantern. A really sad one. Like a jack-o'-lantern version of the toxic waste guy from Robocop. Number 9, Star Wars Snickers. So 2005 was the year Revenge of the Sith came out and naturally Star Wars was all over the Halloween candy aisle. In this case, you had fun-sized Snickers bars in Star Wars themed wrappers and all of the wrappers had glow-in-the-dark touches. For older Star Wars fans like me, it was such a trip to see the franchise back in the zeitgeist again. Um, a lot of people don't remember this, but between the original trilogy and the prequel trilogy, there wasn't a whole lot coming out of the Star Wars universe. So yeah, seeing Yoda on a bag of Snickers, that was a very big... Oh, there's a frickin' fly in here. Number 10, Halloween Jones Soda. Jones has put out a lot of Halloween sodas over the years, but I think 2005 was the first time they really embraced it in a big mainstream way. That year, we got four different flavors. Candy corn, strawberry slime, caramel apple, and scary berry lemonade. I love the color of this last one. It's like a tropical ocean or a bottle of cool mint Listerine. I wasn't crazy about the candy corn or caramel apple flavors, but the other two were fantastic. A strawberry soda named after slime, and a berry lemonade soda that looked like that stuff they drank in Star Trek VI. How can you not love that? So those were 10 of the top Halloween junk foods from the year 2005. I hope I've helped you remember some of the heavily dyed, massively sugary things you used to eat. All right, here's the deal. I still have one more video to add to this series for 2006. I'm not totally sure it'll be this year though, because there are a few other videos I really want to do before Halloween. 
and I might have to juggle things around. If I don't get to it this year, I'll just do it next year. Either way, I will be back soon with another video. In the meantime, go do some Halloween things because there isn't a whole lot of time left in the season. Carve pumpkins, watch horror movies, eat a bunch of chocolate, whatever. Uh, I'll be back soon. Take care.